about how the poor, the purpose is not to become religious and all of the Torah learning that you know people do is if it's not making them a better person so it's not worth anything and sometimes they come they come off in a negative light but doesn't Hashem judge everybody favor everybody according to what they know so since we know about it Borodud and about real tshuva and about tefillah so Hashem judges us according to that and people who grew up learning that the purpose is to learn Gemara and that the purpose is to you know, be a Talmud Chacham, and the purpose is to keep Shulchan Aruch and say Shemona Asrei. So those people who grew up learning that to be religious is what's important, they should, they're, you know, Hashem judges them according to what they know. The same way Hashem judges, you know, people who are partying and going clubbing according to what they know. Yes. So how are we supposed to look at them? So, like we... We know that Mishnah is saying, Who is the wise person? A person that his mind is open to learn from every person. And it's even written, You can learn from the Goim, from the nations. So for sure that a person has to open his mind and his heart and his eyes to see what Hashem Barach is telling him. So it's true as a... As a, as a, a as the starting point from the beginning, Kadosh Baruch Hu doesn't have no complaint to a person if you're born secular, or even there are people that are Jews that are born and don't know uh, uh, nothing about religion. They don't they don't care about that. They're just regular people around the world, walking and and, and alive. So, of course, you cannot judge them. And if a person born in a religious community and that's what he learned, so of course that's what he learned. It's okay, but. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is seeking, He wants your heart. It means that meanwhile, during life, as life are going, you're going to find situations that, that are going to wake you up, that are going to shake your stability and your old assumptions and understandings. And the question is going to be on that person, how he reacts to those new things that came to him in his life, to new understandings. It, I, I, I remember once I gave a class in, uh, in a certain place, and after the class came to me a person, and he told me, look, I, I, I born from, and I served Hashem all of my life, and words of, of faith, like you said today, in, in the shiur are new to me. I believe that it's the truth. I believe that, that you're right, that Hashem Itbach is, is saying those words out from your mouth. It, it sounds very right, but, uh, but it's all new to me. So, so I told him, welcome. Great. Let's so keep on, continue. You need to be open to, to receive new information, new wisdom. Rabbi Akiva and his friends that went up to heaven, the, Rabbi Akiva gave the other righteous people, the other friends, an advice before they went up to heaven. He told them, when we're coming to pure mar stones of pure marble, don't say water, water, don't say my, my, because the person that is lying to Hashem Barach cannot stand in front of Hashem Barach. So there's there are big secrets over there in that situation, but they, they didn't listen to him. You see that all of the others failed. All of the other three failed. And only Rabbi Akiva made it. I heard once from Rav Shalom that he said, you don't need to accept it also. It's opinion of Rav Shalom. But Rav Shalom said the reason that they haven't accepted it from Rabbi Akiva was because that Rabbi Akiva was a Baal Tshuva. This is why they couldn't hear him. All of those three, they were not Baal Tshuva. They all were FFB, came and they knew it all already. They learned it, they received it from their rabbis. And now that Rabbi Akiva is coming and he's telling us what to think, what to do, so it's a test for, a for, for, for an FFB to receive wisdom from a different place, from a foreign source that is foreign for him, from Baal Tshuva. So it's a test for everyone to seek for the truth and not to seek for greatness or to seek for honor or to seek for, for other sicknesses. You need to seek for the truth. So it's written, You need to be careful to respect the sons of poor people because from them Torah is going to come out. Why? Because they're humble. Because they know that they're coming from zero, like Rabbi Akiva. He came from zero. 
He didn't have nothing. He knows that it's all kindness of Hashem that had been revealed to him. So he can say, you know, to, 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 to spit it out, pure as he received it. He doesn't have no, he doesn't feel involved. It's, he knows that it's Hashem and that's it. And he hands it to, to his students and he doesn't bring his wisdoms into it. And he doesn't bring his, his talent and his abilities. It just straight as he received it from Hashem. So he, he hands it to, to his students. And that's the way that Rabbi Akiva was doing it. So you need to learn from Rabbi Akiva. So it's true. Everything that a person have and got, Hashem is judging him in a positive way and he accepted him as he is. But with life, Hashem is testing and Hashem is offering each and every one of us options, tickets, lottery tickets to develop, to grow, to, to succeed, to achieve more. And the person needs to have a desire for the truth, and then he will find it. Everything is okay, but Hashem Barach, He wants us to improve and to be better and greater. So this is why He's testing us and, and, and opening for each and every one of us options. You need to be worthy to stand in those tests, because you're going to achieve a lot when you're going to accept them, when you're going to accept the truth. You're going to purchase the truth. It's going to become to be yours. Torah Hashem becomes to be Torah Moshe. Suddenly Moshe becomes to be someone. One hour before it was Torah Hashem. And suddenly when he gave it, suddenly it's Torah Moshe. Bezat Torah Adam. And the Torah can be yours also. Every person can, can, can buy the Torah. That It's going to be your Torah. So if a person really wants to achieve, he can. But he needs to go through tests of life. And those tests... To pass them, for that it, it requires a lot of truth, a lot of dedication, a lot of commitments to the truth, and to be crazy, not to back off. No, what what they can tell you? You need to pray even if a sharp sword is is aimed to your throat, to your neck. What do you want? David Amelech is saying, If he, even, <coughs> even if he's coming to kill me, it's Hashem coming to kill me. No, no one else in the world. It's Hashem coming to kill me. Okay, I'm yearning for him. I'm, I, I'm expecting Hashem not to be afraid of death, not to be afraid of suffering, not to be afraid of sacrificing, not to be afraid of effort, not to be afraid of, of nothing. Because you're looking for Hashem, so Hashem is everywhere, so find Him. So say, Hashem, I'm going to find you in that pain. I'm going to find you in that darkness. I'm going to find you in that difficulty. That's the holy desire of a person that can bring him to success and to happiness. Thank you all.